All right, hello guys, it's Moses here from Mosey Hog Noses, and in today's video, I will be talking about the steps I'm gonna be taking on becoming a breeder. Now, first of all, I wanna thank you all for subscribing to my channel. I reached the 100 mark, so again, I'm thankful, especially all those people that are sharing my, sharing my videos on Facebook, in the Facebook group, so again, thank you, and I'm just gonna start off, so let's go. All right, so all of this has been a process. Um, it's been two years since I've been collecting my snakes. Um, I have had a lot of these since they were babies. This one's still a baby. Um, and again, two years. I spent over $5,000, guys. Yes, $5,000 on my snake collection, on my 23 snakes that I currently have. I might be getting, actually, another one tomorrow. I'm not sure. It's a different species. So I'm going to see. I'm going to negotiate with the guy. But <laughs> to kind of go off that, yeah, I spent... Um, $700 a year in food, which has been $1,400 so far. Um, so again, it's been an expensive hobby so far. But again, I spend my own money because I have the money. And again, I love these. These are my pets. There's something that I'm not going to easily get rid of or sell or something because I've grown a connection with all of these. And again, it's an expensive hobby sometimes because it depends how you care for them. For me, you know, buying the rack system, buying the thermometers, buying the Reptacalcium, um, Reptasafe for the water to dechlorinize it. Um, I buy a bunch of these little, you know, cups so I can put their water in. Um, constantly cleaning it requires a lot of time. There are substrates. Again, I spent over like $8,000 plus dollars on just two years of maintaining these snakes, 23 snakes. Um, so again, it's, it's a process guys. And for me to become a breeder, I have to understand that, you know, you have to be in it for the animals, not the money. And again, it's a process. It's something that you just have to be patient about. You know, some people just jump in it thinking they're going to make a lot of money right away, but that's not the process guys. Um, you have to be patient. You have to understand, you have to take it day by day, week by week, you know, feeding them. And if they don't eat, for a while then they're not getting that weight so it's going to take you longer to get them up to size to eventually breed them again it's all a process but again if you love these animals and you love the hobby then it shouldn't be a problem because eventually you're going to get there so again i've been at it two years and i've been minus eight thousand dollars all right so for me the key to breeding is having patience um again it's been two years and i've been impatient i keep seeing the breeding season come and it's been like Oh, I want to hatch my own eggs now. And, you know, that's why I got this girl. Um, <laughs> she is ready to breed. She's five years old. Um, she's produced usually six to ten eggs from the other breeder. Double clutched. I'm not double clutching. Um, and, yeah, again, I'm excited for that. And that's the only time I'm probably going to start making money. Now, if I end up getting what I want to get, then I'm not going to sell those. You know, I'm trying to get the um, albino condas. So if I end up getting that, I'm not going to sell those. I'm going to keep them. And again, the profit margin is going to be pretty low. If I end up getting toxics from the other one, then I'm not going to sell those. I'm going to keep the toxics. Um, so <laughs> again, the profit margin is low. So the whole process that I'm looking at is a five-year plan. Um, so I want to make some profit between now or between the, year, the day that I started up to the fifth year. And that's the way you need to look at it because it's a long-term thing. It's not a short-term thing. And all my females should be able to breed within the next 2021, pretty much a year and a half from now or two years or a year. Sorry. Yeah. A year and a half. Sorry. <laughs> so, um, yeah, that should be great because then I'm going to have multiple clutches. Same thing with my ball pythons. I'm just going to stick with albinos for now. Um, I've been looking at the clowns and stuff like that, but I'll eventually jump into that. <laughs> It's, it's just hard not to get into ball pythons right now. I've been having a little search for ball pythons because um, I just want them. They have amazing colorations and the morphs are just insane. And hopefully the hog noses can get there. Um, they're coming out with different colorations and stuff like that. So hopefully I can get there. But the way I view it with hog noses is that usually the people that buy the hog noses they don't buy the fancy morphs. They'll buy albinos, they'll buy normals and stuff because people don't have a lot of money. And you have to understand that as a breeder as well. For me, I'm going to approach those people that want a good quality animal at a cheap price. And um, that's how you have to build your reputation. You have to build it from the bottom up. And it's all a process. And I'm really going for that, you know. 
Again, this girl's a great eater. She's large. And I'm going to breed her with one of my large good eater mouths. Um, hopefully that follows on, which usually it does. And again, those are the snakes I'll be selling quickly. You know, those ones that are eating well. And, you know, it's all about building a great reputation. I'm not going to sell baby snakes that are about like a week, two weeks old or something. Or they only have like five meals. They're going to have to be about two months old before I start selling snakes like that. So, again, it's all a long process. But I'm ready to be patient for it. And, again, hopefully you guys can follow me through that whole process. Because this is the way I want you guys to see how I care for my snakes. I buy the expensive stuff. I do all that stuff to maintain good quality healthy snakes and again that's what i'm going for um that's why i'm doing these videos this is why i have this youtube channel the reason i have it is so you guys can see how i care for my snakes um and that i treat them well um i have them in clean enclosures i give them a bunch of calcium i keep them with good quality water good quality everything you know so you guys can see that i actually care for them and when you guys get some snakes from me you guys aren't gonna know that you'll be seeing from my videos, how I care for them and how good quality they'll be. So <laughs> yeah, that's pretty much it guys. Um, again, patience, it's all I need. Sorry, I'm sweating, it's hot here in California, but um, yeah, again, it's all a process and I really hope to get there someday. But again, if I don't, I don't mind it because I make well enough money to care for these guys as a hobby. And again, I love them. They are amazing pets for me. And these are some of them that I'm just not going to get rid of. Um, all my large snakes, I'm just going to keep them. Everything I keep, I'm just going to keep it till the end. I'm not going to sell them when they're older or any of that stuff. Um, so, yeah, the one I'm excited for, again, is my little guy Midas. Um, I ended up finding out that he was a male, so he is a new morph. Um, yeah, so I called him Midas. He's... A gene that's called the arm gene um, my friend discovered it out in the wild so yeah I'm excited for that one I'll be doing an update later on when he's a little bit bigger but again a lot of people have been contacting me for that one like I've gotten offers for about like five thousand dollars and stuff like that but I'm not ready to sell or get anybody in the project yet um so Hopefully, if my snakes over there end up proving leucistic, or I get a leucistic from that one, then I will be shipping off one of my offspring from the RM gene to a person that I've already made a deal with. So, um, <laughs> yeah, I'm excited for that. But again, that's pretty much it, guys. If you guys like the video, please follow me in OC underscore hog noses on Instagram. Help me get 100 <laughs> followers there if you can. So, again, thank you guys for watching, and thank you for all your support. If you liked the video, please like, share, and subscribe. And thank you guys for watching, and I hope that, you know, I post more videos as soon as I can. If I have time, I'm going to go play, you know, Ghost of Tsushima. Awesome game, by the way. But <laughs> that's enough of it. Bye, guys.